Alrighty, so we're gonna kick things off with some calf rolling. And what we're gonna do is take a seat and place the foam roller underneath your calf muscle. So by rolling out the calves, we're hopefully gonna see some more range of motion at the ankle junction itself. Uh, and what we're gonna do is start with the oscillation technique where essentially we're gonna be moving about one to two inches either side of where we pin the muscle or the trigger point. So right now we're gonna look at the gastroc and what we're gonna do is use our upper body to move forward and back one or two inches at a time. So we're not gonna to go too far. We're just gonna try and pin one trigger point for now. So we're seeing just one to two inches of movement. And then to make it more intense, what we can do is lift the hips or we could even grab this other leg and put it on top to add some more intensity. So once he does this, he's gonna feel some, some heat through the calf. Oh yeah. Second technique, take that top leg off. We can go side to side. So we can just look from side to side and that's sort of gonna get the lateral, then the medial gastroc and we can start to see that. The other technique is to pin the muscle and then look at flexing and extending that muscle. How's that one feel? Oh yeah, so we're looking for a flexing extension. So the oscillation technique or the pin and activate technique is uh, the two that we're looking for there. So you can see him doing dorsiflexion, then you can see him doing some plantar flexion, which is gonna get straight into that gastroc or the soleus if he wants to move further down towards the ankle. Um, but over time, what we should see is that the muscles will start to change the tonality from the brain to the muscle, and we should start to see some more range through the ankle. 